there. Hi my lovelies. Let me explain this crazy hair. Can you believe that this is my own hair? I haven't used any curlers, straighteners, nothing. So let me start from the beginning. Lately I've been watching a lot of videos about curly hair and curly girl method. I don't know if you've seen any of them. And I always thought I had straight hair. But sometimes, you know, if, if it was hot or something, the underneath of my hair would curl quite a bit. Well, apparently people, especially with fine frizzy hair, really have wavy hair. And that's why the hair freezes up so much. And of course, mine is damaged because of the years of bleaching and using hot tools. So I've watched all these different videos, these different methods for the curly hair. And I thought, let me give it a try. So basically, you wash your hair. I mean, this is like a short version. There are different methods for doing it, but I used like the simplest one. And my hair smells so lovely. I show you what I've used in my hair. I didn't even know there are actually products on the market for curly hair. Uh, so I've used that Canto Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. And that smells of like all the lovely coconuts, shea butter. It's just lovely. And then Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. But, yeah, it's called scrunching jelly. But this jelly wasn't very, it's not very strong. My hair doesn't feel that crunchy, which I suppose is good for fine hair. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I washed my hair in a shampoo, then I conditioned it. Then I rinsed the conditioner off. And while I was there with my head upside down, I put like a really generous amount all over my hair and then started scrunching it with that dripping water and you can hear it squelching and straight away then you you see i could see my hair sort of springing up and i kept scrunching scrunching then you take microfiber towel or a t-shirt you can't do it with a normal cotton towel because the way the looks are in those towels apparently wraps up your cuticles too much and just squeeze a bit the excess so it wasn't dripping then I applied this gel in a scrunching motion and then I started dry it with a diffuser on like I put my head upside down and I first hovered it near my roots and then all over and then I started scrunching it like this and that's what I got it looks pathetic because I've got very fine hair so it's very stringy but I don't think this is completely dry I can't tell and the the gel that I've used is not very crunchy I think you need quite strong crunchy gel and after it's completely dry you scrunch the crunch so your hair should go really stringy and very hard with the gel and then you go and just do this to break up that crunchy cast that crunchy cast or scrunch it like this and then it gets a bit bigger and it's not as stringy i was amazed i can't believe that this is my hair and of course if i kept doing it stopped styling my hair all the time looked after it with lots of masking and kept doing this method as my hair gets healthier it would get more and more curly i don't think i'm going to keep up with it it's cute uh, because i wouldn't say it's easy it's a lot of work i probably could have styled my hair quicker than this i mean the the whole hovering with the diffuser takes ages and ages even though my hair is really fine but look how curly it is can you believe this 
would be cute up it's a bit flat for me you know i like big hair but there are ways to make your hair a bit bigger as well at the top but i just cannot believe this look at it i have wavy hair yeah, so if you want to see how people do it, I especially was looking for people with fine hair, just put in search in YouTube, um, curly girl method, and there'll be millions of videos that will come up. I never know what to do with this front here. But like I said, this was my first go, and I am amazed. Anyway, apart from my hair, I wanted to say that the beginning of the year is really crap for me. It's been awful, well, since December really, when the sofa gate started. The sofa gate is ongoing, so I'm not going to talk about it. One day when it's all sorted, I will tell you exactly what happened. But it is ongoing. And then um, my car not broke down but you know the sensors that beep when you're parking or you get closer to someone or it also has like this collision mode that if you get too close to someone too fast the brakes go on that stopped working i started getting this um, warning message that my sensors are blocked or faulty so we've taken the car uh, to the garage today and we're supposed to pick it up today but they found us and they said that it needs new sensors and they don't have them in stock today they will have them tomorrow so i'm not picking up my car today so i've got no car today and tomorrow but that's okay now louis so i think i told you that you know with this papilloma this lamb that he's got on his lip um, and I also have noticed like a horrible rotten smell from his mouth and I couldn't work out what it is and I never thought to look in his teeth. He had his teeth done, remember, five months ago, had nine teeth out, was under anaesthetic for hours, had the teeth cleaned. So anyway, yesterday I looked properly in Sunny's mouth and the tooth here looks so rotten, his gums are red, it just looks awful. And I thought, how is that possible? He's just had his teeth done. So we went to the vets today to talk to the manager because also when I went with him last time to the vet about the lamp, I told her about his smelly breath. But she, she just said to me, yeah, we don't remove these lamps unless they start causing him trouble or they change shape or they grow bigger. And uh, she said, but we can remove it when he has his teeth done. And I said to her, he just had his teeth done five months ago. And she sort of ignored it and carried on talking. And I didn't think much about it. But now I think she probably looked in his mouth and thought, wow, he will need his teeth done, not knowing that he's already had them done. She was not very nice anyway. Um, I asked her to empty Louis' glands as well. She went, you know, like was a big deal. And you know, I've only just moved him last year to to, to that vet surgery. So anyway, they're going to have a look what happened and I will have to take him in. You know, I don't really want to put him under an anesthetic again and have it done again. His teeth cost us £1,200 to have it done. And I don't know, they didn't do their job properly. I really don't know so this is um plain on on my mind it's just like all the time there is something and i feel if i had such a horrible start to the year does that mean that my whole year is going to be like it i feel really stressed constantly and you know i i know i sit here i think that's why i sit here and moan to you because i hate confrontation i hate complaining about things paul is different paul is in charge of all of it i mean with the sofa gate he's on the phone emails constantly i would just sit and cry uh, i'm not very good in that sort of situation dealing with stress 
or complaining like if I go to a restaurant and the food is horrible I won't say anything I just won't go back there um, but I won't say anything I just don't I don't like being horrible to people but I suppose it's not me being horrible complaining about service that I haven't received but to me it feels like I'm being horrible so um, so it stresses me out so that's why I think you're getting it you have to sit here and listen to me moaning <laughs> I am absolutely amazed at my hair it's horrible I know it looks ridiculous really stringy maybe if it completely dries and I break the cast it will get a bit more because if you saw me first when the hair was still wet it looked like I had three hairs on my head you know just like these thin wet stringy things but as it's drying it's getting a bit more the curls are getting a bit bigger <laughs> well they are not curls they waves I suppose my eyes are looking okay today but do you know what some days I still wake up and I have this hanging skin so this can be to do with the skin you know I can't have a crepey hangy skin one day but not the next so I don't know if I have still this leftover that's probably what it is this leftover filler and I tell you that under eye filler I had done five years ago maybe even longer because then I remember I went back um, to Dr. Gorman I think it was the first year of pandemic they opened up in the autumn I think for a bit I went to him and I just had a bit put in my cheeks but not under my eyes and that was it and that was four years ago so since then I've had no more filler I'm not ever gonna have filler ever again but this must be this blinking filler that is playing up under my eye I don't know maybe I just keep really massaging it till it drains away or something I don't know but yeah never ever fillers again anyway I'm enjoying my new skincare routine enjoying it very much I think because since I've made myself this did I show you that I made myself like a timetable for the whole week a.m. and p.m. and I've written exactly what I'm using including my LED mask and halo and now I go to the bathroom I don't remember I just look at it and it's just so much easier because before I had like hundreds of skincare products and I would just mix and match every day apply something different so I could never tell what is working so anyway I'm enjoying doing that and obviously you have to use it for at least three months to start seeing any positive changes okay my lovelies as usual the woman doesn't shut up <laughs> I see you later good morning my lovelies I have straight hair today yes that curly hair to be honest when I got up the next morning it was still curly it was a bit more flat at the front I don't think I will keep it up although it's nice to know that if I wanted to I can do that I think my hair is just too thin you know especially here so what I'm doing today which I've been putting off for ages. Uh, my hair extensions, these are the Molly Mays, so I normally wear the Scandinavian blonde because I have these low lighting, but I'm growing them out. So what I'm doing, because I only need small to clip sections on each side, so I need to sew another one of these clips around here so they are quite close together so I'm going to sew this clip next to that one and then cut it off and do the same on this side oops and then I will clip them in where I want them and cut them Cut them 
bit longer than my own hair. I have to straighten this because I use these, remember when I did um, the extension video, I used them in that, but look what a good match it is. To be honest, the Scandinavian Blonde or this one, they both match pretty well. Yes, yeah, so I will do that and I've got lots of laundry to do. But I'm scared to, well, I've started one now, but I'm scared to carry on. Not scared. <laughs> we have a plumber coming in. Uh, well, someone coming in to have a look at our kitchen tap. So something else has gone wrong. I've never seen anything like it. Our tap is leaking spraying water not from you know where you have the washers on a joint just on the side of the spout almost like there is a corroded little tiny hole and it just squirts water when you open the tap i've never heard of tap getting holes in it and i don't know why would it corrode we i don't know anyway I don't know if when that plumber comes, does he need to turn off the water? So I don't know if I should carry on with the washing machine. I don't know. Yes, so that's what I'm going to do. I hate doing it. And I need to go and get my glasses because I can't see what I'm doing without them. I have a brand new um, set of the Scandinavian Blonde as well. These are more ashy. Yes, yeah, so you see, I buy the extensions. And you don't need whole set. So buy the smallest set that they do. Even if you could just buy one weft like that, that's enough for what I do, you know, just those two, two clip, clip pieces on each side. Okay, so I've done it. I need to sort out the cut a bit. I just roughly cut it. But yes, look. There it is. Because I only really need that amount of hair. Because that's where my hair is the thinnest. I have plenty of hair in the back. So yes, I might do another one of those now. I have a set of Scandinavian Blonde already done, but it's a bit short. I have to now put them much lower because my hair is longer. But I will probably trim my hair shorter. I don't know. Should I do it? No, I can't be bothered. It's such a tedious job. I do it another time. Or should I do it? I'm sitting here now. Maybe I should do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this video turned out to be all about hair, hasn't it? Hello, my lovelies. So it's a lovely end to the week. So the week was horrible. So I have told you about Louis. I have told you about my car. So my car, They've changed the sensors and then they called us that it's still not working, so they need to keep the car for longer. So we left left it there another day and they found the fault. It was just loose cable or something. So that was sorted. Then did I tell you about my tap, kitchen tap, that it's got a hole in it, in the actual spout. Uh, so we had someone that came yesterday because we have like this... Um, home insurance that covers all your appliances and everything and they stock taps as well we can choose a tap you know it's not what I probably would choose uh, but it's nice enough tap um, so we had that changed yesterday so that was fixed and then the day before yesterday our wi-fi went off just didn't work uh, so we obviously reported the fault um, and they said that they will send someone within three days. You know, you need Wi-Fi. We had to use our data from the phone and use the phone as a hotspot 
you know, Paul works from home, I work from home, so I really need the Wi-Fi. But they did send someone yesterday and that is fixed now as well. So things are going well and today is our 25th wedding anniversary. So I'm getting ready because we are going uh, to a restaurant. We're going like a late lunch. Um, I don't really like going out in the evening, especially this time of the year. It's a horrible time to have anniversary in February. But um, if we didn't have Louis, we would be probably on a plane to Barbados because that's where we got married. We got married in Barbados and uh, we always wanted to go back there. But I think the hotel where we got married doesn't exist anymore or they've demolished it and rebuilt it. I can't remember. Um, but because of Louis, you know, there is nothing nice to do here. The weather is absolutely awful. It's pouring down with rain. So we thought we'd just go for a nice meal. And normally we don't buy each other presents. <clears throat> We've never been bothered about things like that. Maybe something funny or, you know, but uh, we both did in secret. <laughs> go in and got something sentimental and it was so funny because we think so much alike that his present is very similar to mine well similar concept and we got it from the same we got it from Etsy it is really funny because sometimes we could be sitting in silence in the evening you know I will be on my laptop and Paul will be watching tv and suddenly I will say something out of context you know and he said oh my god I was just gonna say that to you or we both say the same thing at the same time so we obviously thought of the same thing so I show you what Paul got me I think his is better than mine actually so he got me this it says our song there is a our wedding picture I don't know if you can see oh yeah you can see it and um, Paul and Nisha, 25th wedding anniversary. And what it is here, there are lyrics of our wedding song, our first dance. And our first song uh, was uh, The Honey's Finally Found. Just lovely words. You need to go and find this song. I, I tear up even now when I, when I listen to it. It's, obviously, you can't put the whole song because it wouldn't fit but it has like the first verse i suppose and and the chorus i can't believe you're here with me and now it seems my world's complete and i never want this moment to end i close my eyes and still i see my dreams become reality and now i know how it feels to be in love i prayed so many nights that you would come my way an angel from above to light my darkest day. I think it's time for you to hear these lines because there is something I want to say. And the chorus is, I finally, I want to sing it because I know the words almost by heart. I finally found what I was, what I've been looking for. And now you know I'm going to love you more. Hold me tight because it's always been you. To think that you were always there, to be my friend and wipe away my tears. Now it's clear that it's always been you. He's so cute. So yes, that was from him to me. And I got in a couple of presents. Oh, <laughs> I got even better present. <laughs> so I always say to him, you know, whenever we would talk, talk about how long we've been married and I always say, yes, I deserve a medal. So he got me a medal of bravery in, what does it say, in the field. <laughs> so I have a medal of bravery. <laughs> right, so why I'm saying that we got similar things, because I also got him a frame photo, but this is where we met. So what you do, you give these people a postcode of the place you may, met and they draw, well, print the map of that area and put a heart or a star, whatever you want, 
where you actually met and uh, we met in May 1994 uh, in a bridge which is a pub so I got him this and then <laughs> this is quite cute um, this is like a star constellation so it says Paul and Nisha 25 years since our stars aligned you can choose what you want to put on there and there is a date and it's a um, it's got LED light up <laughs> so I thought he can have that on his desk yes so it was cute oh and this morning we got a delivery and it was so sweet Paul's dad and his wife sent us a sent us a huge hamper for our anniversary. It's so beautiful, so that was really touching. You know, I'm surprised that they remembered. Well, I suppose Paul talks to him every week, so he must have talked to him about it. Yeah, so that was very nice. Yes, so like I said, lovely end to the week. I don't know what to wear so I was going to wear a skirt I bought a skirt from Massimo Dutti I don't know a month ago haven't worn it yet but because the weather is so horrible I don't know if I want to wear a skirt let me show it to you I don't know if you can see it it's a light gray gray skirt you probably can see it it has slightly um, irregular hem I think this has wool in it but it's um it's nice it's almost it almost looks like a you know cotton gauze material but I think this has wool in it yes it has 25% of wool anyway yeah it's a really nice sort of a-line skirt and I was gonna wear with my black long boots and I don't know, black top or white top, I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm wearing. It's not that important. Anyway, I better go and decide what to wear. This is what I've decided to wear. I just have a vest top underneath and this cardigan from Arbare and my favorite Zara trousers and I just have Sarah boots. I hope you can see me. I can't see nothing from here, so. <laughs> but yes, that's what I am wearing for our meal out. Okay, my lovelies, um, I'm gonna finish this vlog here. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.